going on guys this is Gil from Black Hole Comics and today I'm bringing you the Jim Lee Cyclops. Got a Cyclops from the newest X-Men wave. Got some nice artwork right there on the side. That's the whole entire wave. I do you get to say I want to collect the whole entire wave. So far I have reviewed uh, Colossus and Shatterstar. Still got to do Old Man Logan, Sunfire, Polaris, and Dazzler. Again, this is another figure from Mike Diaz. I want to say thank you for letting me borrow your figures. Appreciate it, bro. Here goes a quick little read-up of the bio. So we're going to go ahead and crack them open. All right, guys, so here goes Scott Summer, your Cyclops, out of the packaging. I do got to say right off the bat, I'm not um, a huge fan of how they did all the belts and straps. They're very loose, and posing them around, they do fall off. And they do, let's see couple times when I was moving around the foot that happens so that does suck don't know why they didn't glue them in place as far as the deco <clears throat> as far as the deco it looks really clean really nice I do like how they how it came out they did reuse the bucky cap mold which is an awesome mold and does work for a lot of different characters this totally reminds me of the 90s X-Men I used to watch it every Saturday morning. Looks really good, nice and clean. The X's came out really nice as well. Not too bad. Okay, gonna go ahead and get into articulation. So the head can look down. Can look up. Does rotate around. There is a little bit of head pivot. So arms go out 90 degrees. There is a bicep rotation, double jointed elbow, rotation at the wrist, and it does hinge up and down. There's the ab crunch forward. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out this harness is all one solid piece. Kind of don't like how that looks, how it's free floating. Doesn't look good. When I get my own, I'm going to have to figure something out to try to customize it a little bit. It does go back a little bit. I feel like this whole entire thing just limits him. There is a waist rotation, but again, the whole entire harness looks kind of goofy. Can't kick forward. See? Fall down. Can't kick forward all the way. Can't kick back a bit. Can't kick out to the side a little bit. There is a thigh cut right there, double joint and knees, there's a boot cuff, just go up a whole lot, down, and ankle pivot. So I do got to say that it's nice to get a new updated Jim Lee Cyclops, um, definitely brings back a whole lot of nostalgia, it's just they didn't execute it in the best way. It does really look good. I do recommend this figure, it's just that you're going to have to mess around with it and maybe customize it a little bit. Go ahead and click the little indentation right there for my last action figure review. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.